brother in ours. Brother. It is this word has names. You're cool, cool. When you are cool, you're gent. When you are nice, when you are lukewarm, you take, you take what is of God, you mix it with alcohol. The word is going to call you a cool pastor. A cool pastor. When I got saved, my brother took me to a bar and told me this. Rene, even though you are saved, Truly, truly, not even not even a, a bar. At least you were an engineer. We share. God told him. And one day he sat me down and told me. I don't believe in that of uh, Christianity. But there is one thing I want you to explain to me. Where do you get the peace you have? Because there are things that, that stress all of us. Yet I look at you and you are calm. It's as if you don't live in the world. Even if I don't accept all of the Christians. But then there is something that gives you peace. If it is not a lot of distractions, there is something specific. And he told me this. I haven't met Christians who lack peace or morale. They have de they lose their people, yet they are singing the same songs they sing when they have a wedding. It's as if for them a wedding and a barrier is the same. They have a great peace that I do not understand. Those who live according to the spirit. Those who allow the spirit to work in them. They will possess. Peace. They will possess. Peace. That is beyond. Understanding. That is beyond what they can know. There is a book here. Not possessing it is a sin. Not reading it is calamity. And not sharing it with others is a loss. Today is our day two. In this week of speaking of the benefits of the works of the Holy Spirit. It you cannot strive for something without knowing the benefits of that thing. I'm going to speak about one benefit of the Holy Spirit, which is the role of sanctifying us. Because I don't know how much how far I'm going to go, but it's going to depend upon what the Holy Spirit is going to lead me. Because when we speak about this kind of words, we also need time to pour our hearts to God. The Holy Spirit will sanctify us. Separating ourselves from all impurities due to the love we have for God. These are the scriptures. Romans 5, 5 to 8. Philippians 3, 7 to 10. Romans 8, 4 to 9 and 12 to 16. Romans 15, 14 to 16. 
Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 11 Hebrews 9 13 to 14 Galatians 5 verse 16 to 25 Titus chapter 3 verse 3 to 7 and then James chapter 4 verse 4 to 6 we are going to start with the first scripture of Romans chapter 5 verse 5 to 8 and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. In other words, in our hearts, our heart is full of, is overflowing with the love of God that we have received by the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit poured in us the love of God or the Holy Spirit pushes us to be filled with the love of God I want, I want to speak about this word very well because it's blessing me. Usually, what is sanctification? Sanctification is separating yourself from impurity. That is the definition. Sanctification is separating yourselves from what is not right. There is no way you can separate yourself from what is wrong if there is nothing else you are, you are relaying to, relating to. The first victory to sin is loving God enough to the point of hating what he hates. I'm going to try and explain this. May God help me. The more you love God, or the more your heart is filled with God, the more you hate the God what's wrong or sin. Because both cannot live together. As the love of God increases, the hate of sin will also increase. The more you love God, the more you are hating sin. The, because sinning is uh, cheating on God. Nobody will cheat on his beloved wife. So what the Holy Spirit will do, he is going to pour, he pours the love of God, this word overflowing, it's filling up to the brim and overflowing. That is what he will do in our hearts. I pray that today as we go to pray that God will overflow that he will fill to the brim by the Holy Spirit the love of God in a special way so that you will not find time for sin. This is what it means. You see, when you were still powerless, 
just at the right time. Christ died for the ungodly. In other words, he loved those who did not deserve of his love. He died for those who were undeserving. And he died for them just before love. Karin we? Verse 7. Very, very rarely anyone will die for a righteous person. Though for a good person, someone might possibly die, dare to die. Verse 8. But God. But God. But God. But God. But God. But God. God. Demonstrates his own love. For us. Christ died for us. Why we were still sinners. This is where the love of God becomes a beautiful thing. The, if this love were to be in you, there are things you wouldn't do. May God help me to explain this clearly. Ananias and Sapphira it was a husband and a wife that husband and wife they had a great idea and they sold their plot of land and they brought what they purchased it and after they gathered their funds they counseled themselves truly, 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 truly are we really, really, really are we going to give all this money? Away. Have some logic. Come Try. on. Try. Be logical. Pe, 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 pe. Really, really, really. Ah, this is foolishness. What's surprising is this. The verse that ends chapter 4 It speaks about a man who was named Barnabas who gave everything he possessed. But then these thoughts, they were wise. They said, really, really, really. They kept some part to themselves. And when they kept that part, <laughs> Then they took the other part to the apostles. When they raised to Peter, they, it was first the husband. Then Peter looked at him and asked him this. Ananias. Why did you allow the enemy to fill you to that point? to the point of lying to the Holy Spirit, deceiving the Holy Spirit. In other words, if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit or the love of God, then you are filled with something else. Ananias, Ananias was not filled with the love of God. He was not filled with the, the Holy Spirit, which led him astray. Peter told him this. It is not a man that you have deceived. It is God that you have deceived. That is how the Holy Spirit makes you love God so much, pours in you the love of God, and you miss God and you live not only sin you also live something good that is not benefiting to God you still don't understand me well I was in London this year uh, in prayers locked in prayers for 40 days with my wife by the grace of God uh, oh, and even years 
We went to one of the city that God told us about. Not going for a holiday. Not going for making some purchases. But going there for locked in prayers. And seeking God. When we got there, the pastor who had sent us the invitation, He's a pastor that, whom me and my wife patroned and matron. It's been two years and he lost his wife. He has about five churches in the UK. He's a Congolese that we met in Congo. I raised him in, in the spirit. So he booked a house. He couldn't find the house. Then at the last minute, he will find an apartment, but they were on the coastal side. And he asked us, the remaining apartments are expensive. Should I just book it? And then I asked him, are they that expensive more than the God that we have come to seek? He also did not understand how can people live in Kigali and pack their luggage to come and starve themselves. Just seeking God. Not seeking something else. Then one told his brother in ours, Brother. And then they told each other, if Masasu is not righteous, then he's laid astray. This word of being misled or going astray, I've heard it several times. This word has names. You're cool, cool. When you are cool, when you are, cool. You're gent. When you are nice, uvanga, vanga. when you are lukewarm, you take, you take what is of God, you mix it with alcohol. The word is going to call you a cool pastor. A cool pastor. And when you are seeking God too much, you're seeking for righteousness, then they call you, you are astray. The Holy Spirit is the one who's going to push you to what may be called to be misled. One person told me, he told one of you, I've got restoration church. As for you, Restoration Church, can your God not hear you when you don't fast? 40 days, 21, 14 days, 7 days, 3. I cannot pray at your church because I respect your food. I I honor this stomach of mine. That is going astray. You can have ulcers in your stomach. Just leave that for Masasu. When you love, there is nothing you cannot do. Doing for who you love. Today I pray that the Holy Spirit will make you miss God so much and love Him so deeply to the point you, still, you sleep less and eat less. They are going to say you are going astray but you will be transformed. I'm 
Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 to 10 <laughs> but whatever were gains to me I now consider loss for who for who whatever were gains to me I now consider loss for the sake of Christ what is more, I consider everything a loss. Why? Why? Because of the surpassing worth. So what is that worth? What is that surpassing worth? What is that surpassing worth? It is not anything else. It is of knowing Christ. Yes. Jesus. For whose sake? For whose sake? For sake? For that man. For that love. That love. that wonderful For him. Not for any other. For him. For him. I didn't just say it. Nah. <laughs> I, have lost. I have lost all things. <laughs> yet, 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 I consider them. You have to help me here. Help me out. Garbage. Well, the prophet Hezekiah God told him to turn and cook his food over garbage and he told God oh, you are really really I haven't I haven't lost this much. I am going to replace the human dirt by compost. In the Bible, they don't really talk about the real compost. That's they, are they are trying to embellish the language. But being in Hebrews and in English, they speak about garbage. Because for us, they run the, in Russian culture, it's compost. it's compost. It's not dirt or garbage. For us, it's compost. We use it for fermenting. It can be uh, it's, not, it's not dirty, it's not garbage. The true word. I won't say I, I, you already know what I want to say. As for Paul. <laughs> S- say for I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain that I may receive that I may get that I may get that I can I can have a commitment so that I can so that I can owe so that I can owe so that I can owe that man Jesus Christ I can forget it let me tell you. You haven't met a lady of 35 years. 
uh, who has got a fiance that she's going to visit by chance. You oh, got a fiance by chance. The day your sister who is not even 20. Not 25. But 35. Then the, there is a man who is interested. And that man is coming over to your house to visit. She's going to be so busy with chores. <laughs> She's going to burn herself cooking. Love is, Love. Love. Love is another thing. Love is another thing. Love is another thing. Love. Love. You're here. I know some young, some ladies here. Are you from back in the days? I know when they when they're still young girls and then they change their statuses. Ay ay ay. Uziko. But the one is already married. So I saw how she. <laughs> <laughs> Love is another thing. Love. A, a, a person forgets her <laughs> father and mother. Just leave. And leave them behind. Because of who they have love. Papa bye. Mama bye. Mom bye. No, my pains, my pains, my pains, my pains, my pains. I'm going to love. There are some who are looking at me. There are some who are looking at me. Urumvako. You see that love is going to make you leave something. Love is going to make you leave people going towards what you have loved. Seeking who you love. That burning that fire that's what the Holy Spirit will do but he's not going to do that from the man you have to yeah. <laughs> he's going to do that to that person for that person so that you are going to abandon things. You will abandon people. You will abandon friends. You will abandon sin. And you also abandon what is good. Because there is something you are looking forward to. Praise the Holy Spirit. Praise the Holy Spirit. Praise the Holy Spirit. Praise the Spirit. Who makes us love you? Who makes us love you? Who gives us another type of bread? When I got saved, my brother took me to a bar and told me this. Rene, even though you are saved, truly, truly, not even, not even a, a bar, at least, you were an engineer. We shared. Let's go together. At least you are not going to drink. But we miss you. Let us sit together. And I went with them. We sat in the bar. They called on the first round. That time, Henniken was not even in Africa. They called. They called for the round. And then I also called for a coke. And we drank. 
They started discussing, speaking about different topics. And then uh, for me it was bitter. Because all of them were, even my brother was there. <laughs> I'm the one who told them I was their teacher how to go to a bar. I told them how to smoke. <laughs> so they were good students. I was their teacher. I told them how to date. How to try to pretend <laughs> that they're not interested. I told them. I know. Then I told them they would, ask, they would ask themselves how their teacher has now become a failure. Then they would think I was maybe pretending. They called on the second round. Then one person told his friend, tell them that there are no more sodas. They should tell the waiter that he should only bring out the beers and not bring any soda he came and said why am I not getting a second round and they say ah you know huh. <laughs> they are like bees you are going to kill us with the bees yes so, no, no, then one person told me, tell us the truth. Don't you feel anything? Aren't you missing anything? We are here, we are friends. We are sharing. How are you not going to celebrate or share with us? And I told them, if you allow me, you can just let me go. Like, what? And they say, what? Saini. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. is still early. At least let us wait until 2 a.m. They wouldn't understand how inside of me I'm no longer finding sweetness in that. But I would also ask myself or try to kick myself, cook myself. Trying to bring out the old masasu. Find sweetness in this. And then inside of you, you are sinning. What are you doing? You are pleasing people. You are sinning. And then I felt foolish. And I told them, I'm leaving. They had brought from me alcohol. Mm -hmm. they, they had planned, made plans for me. I left them and went. And next week, the following week, they called no, no. me again. So, my classmates, my old classmates, they, in the campus, they told me they are brand new, they are brand new ladies. They knew campus coming from Goma, from Goma and Bujumbura. We are going to have a night out. We are going to truly dance. They, they knew me as someone who will dance and I will stay on the dance floor by myself. They called me. I went, we spent some time together. Then, one, who was, one young lady came to me. She was screaming. Hey! Oh, Rene, you are here. She came running. And she was telling the DJ. Put the song. This specific song he's here. We are going to dance. Because they lied to me that he got saved. I knew this was not going to keep him hold, to hold on. They him. were lying about him that he got saved. And as, he's, as, she's, talking, as she's talking, I would ask myself, was it the truth or was it a lie? Because I was seeking to please people. <laughs> 
I also went outside to the restroom to try to do some rehearsals. That is the name of the dance. I went to the restroom trying to rehearse the dance. That is how they danced. They had the dance. For 30 minutes. In the restroom, it was dirty. It was stinky, but I was still trying to rehearse. And the Holy Spirit told me, Where are you? And I said, You are in the toilet. What are you doing? Repetition. What are you doing? I'm rehearsing. <laughs> Dancing. And then I heard a voice. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Masasu. Masasu. You cannot be a champion in praising God. And also be a champion in praising God. It, 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 they do not cooperate. Get out of here. Don't even say your farewells. I went for eight kilometers by foot. But since that day, I swore to never please people and deceive my God. So what I'm saying is there is nobody who can do that for himself. There is a man who can do that for himself. The to create this within you. The Holy Spirit can create it and for him for his sake you for his sake you leave for his sake you separate yourself from things you take things for his sake and and being found in him, not having the righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ. You have to me here. You have to help me. I want to know why. Why you have to repeat? Who do you want to know? I want to know Christ. Yes. To know Christ. Yes. To know the power of his resurrection. And participation in his sufferings. <laughs> Becoming like him. If God helps me, let, me, let us read this one as well. That the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who do not walk according to the flesh, but, 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 according, so that means we have two natures. What is the first nature? Thank you. The flesh. What is the second nature? So, of the spirit. There is no third nature. There is the nature of the spirit and there is the nature of the flesh. There is a righteousness of the flesh and there is also a righteousness of the spirit. Verse 5 For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, all the things of the Spirit, who do they take care of? All? You have to help me out here. You are deceiving me, disappointing me. Those who follow according to the flesh, what will they do? And those who live according to the Spirit, what will they do? A long time ago, 
Nakundaga parfait no kwisiga mavuta. I loved moisturizing myself in perfume. Ngayasiga mpaka musibirenge. I moisturize even to the sole of the foot. Maze gukizwa. When I got saved. Numva harukundo mbaye. I felt some ways. Ndibirimbo rimbo numva ndibikimfashiko. And I would ask myself what am I putting on my skin? Ngumukinwa abakinwa naba abavuki cyangwa bakuriye Kinshasa nk'umukinwa azakinwa someone who grew up in Kinshasa waburara ari kukambara you can sleep without food but make sure you are dressed well shaki shati just go itetemeka a nice shirt yo yo wa ufite na madeni menshi ari kuwambaye you might you might even have a lot of depths but you still dress nice then when i got saved Nangira fasting I started with the fasting I was going in the night I was second of the night I will go in Rwanda and in Jerusalem ministry I will go in Congo police hey, then I will go to work I will go to work in the office and then during the break time I will teach this and this and the other and by the time it is evening I haven't even eaten then I lost weight because I was doing karate I had a, a broad chest Fitness jam. And then I was fit. I was losing weight. Then one day my dad and stay look at how you look. When you were growing. Before you start with these things. You were a young man. I felt I could be proud. You were standing while you were fit. And I felt that I have a son. But now look at how you are looking like. And he said, I am about 70 years old. I haven't left, I don't leave the washroom after taking a bath without moisturizing. Look at how the, your, your skin is dry. And then he even threw me a pack of raisins. I went to the room and said, Am I this? Am I this foolish? But then I would feel there is a great joy in my heart. I, my great joy in me before the presence of God. The lost soul. The clothes are not as valuable as the youth. The moisturizer is not as is the, the not perfume of heaven. The perfume of heaven. I'm repeating. For those who live according to the flesh, I'm not, say, I'm not speaking about self-care. I also like looking nice. But sometimes it may take your heart away. It is going to take away all of your strength. And when you are speaking to someone, uh, another woman, you spend eight hours speaking about outfits, speaking about eye pencils and eyebrow trimming. You are speaking about religion. You are speaking about new clothing styles. And yet, you don't have time you are also gossiping about you other people because what is of what is taking your time and your strength that is one category but there is another category and the race that is done the spirit, that is seeking the things of the spirit more than the things of the flesh for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded. Even if I want, I can end here. 
umutima wa kamere the heart of being carnally minded is a seeking for you are seeking Ugashatisha. for gutwika you are looking for the glam gutwika glam nemiyaga and wind no gukora umuti no no umuti mo kuvuga mana and it's and then and then there is a heart that says how am i going to please you god how am i going to be able to reach to your heart more to please you more? how am i going to be among those who please you how am i going to be able to step ahead in my life? how am i going to be an answer to how am i going to know more your words how am i going to help others Those are two different ways. These 40 days. Possess a spiritually a mind that is spiritually led. This is the the benefit of it. Peace. 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 Niki. And what else? Niki. And what else? Niki kindi. What else? Niki. What else? No bugingo. And life. Amen. Nari mfite muramu wanje. I had a brother in law. Yagize kuba umupadiri abivamo. He tried being a priest and abandoned it. Yajaga rero adutuka twese. So he used to insult all of us. Even no mwishize mutanazi neza. These things that you wanted to, you went through yet you don't even understand it fully. Ntabo munabizi neza. You don't even understand it fully. Yajaga aducamba kuducamba akaducambura. Used to insult Aka... us. To insult us heavily. Hanyuma rimwe akambira ngo ngiyewe. Then once he will tell us. Sajari chara muri prof He was I will, I will sit in the ceiling. I'm going to sit in the ceiling and write down your wrongs. Ubwiriza. When you were preaching. Turangiza nyagukusure. I'm going to correct you. Uwo mugabo rero. That man. Dimaranye cyaza arambira gutya. God told him. Nubwo ntemera ibyo barokore. And one day he sat me down and told me I don't believe in that of uh, Christianity. But there is one thing I want you to explain to me. Morale ibahesha mahoro muyikurahe. Where do you get the peace you have? Kuko because there are things that pa- that stress all of us. Nakureba. Yera look at you. Kaunotuje. And you are calm. It's as if you don't live in the world. Even if I don't accept all of the Christians. But then there is something that gives you peace. If it is not a lot of distractions. There is something specific. And he told me this. I haven't met Christians who lack peace or morale. They have de- they lose their people yet they are singing the same songs they sing when they have a wedding. It's as if for them a wedding and a barrier is the same. They have a great peace that I do not understand. Those who live according to the spirit. Those who allow the spirit to work in them. They will possess. Peace. They will possess. Peace. That is beyond what That is beyond what they can do. It is not just that. But they also have life. I met fathers. Bafite imyaka Who are 110 years old? who got saved they grew and had a long life in God when you see them they look nice they look healthy 
Arabanya mwira ko afite imyaka 66 no kurenga aho ngwa dirindwa bakambira ngo urabeshya ariko ntabwo nakwihimbira ravuye mu Rwanda ndeba There are some that I tell that I'm about 66 years and more but Deba shankanda nef na rai bagama nambutse gutya umupaka wa cyangwa ndeba The boundary is in 59 see Wose nambutse ntaravuka So how I couldn't have crossed without being born first Dimugire ngo ari ikindi Don't think it's something else I was speaking to your senior pastor just a while ago. Most of the sicknesses is the lack of evacuation. And there is nothing that is going to do a detox than fasting. Even if you may not fast because you are seeking God, you can even do it for your health. Those who are seeking the Spirit, they are going to feed their spirit and they will be at peace. This man, is it from 57? <laughs> this young man that you are seeing here, He's from 57, that was a long time ago. But yet, if he were to wear, put on a jeans and cut his hair, and he will meet with a young lady, he meet with Sam. Sam. a friend of Sam, and he will meet with Try dating her if you actually go to the church. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Divine, divine energy.